This video is brought to you by my lovely patrons over at Patreon, where just a buck a month will get you access to exclusive content like my deleted videos archive and patron-only live streams. The awful um, murder and rape of this young woman has sent shockwaves through Melbourne, but not just through Melbourne, through the rest of the country. What on earth uh, is going on in this country when um, women uh, cannot walk home safely in our own country? I think it is really time uh, that we confront this. As parents, we need to teach our uh, sons and our uh, uh, boys in our families to respect girls and women and uh, we need to make sure that we call out lewd behaviour uh, and uh, sexist behaviour when we see it. I think women around this country are sick and tired of being made to feel responsible for the fact mm. that men cannot control themselves and deal with their own issues. It is not women's fault that men behave like morons and like pigs. That was Green Senator Sarah Hanson Young. Hi, I'm Sarah Hanson Young. Urging Australians to call out sexist and lewd behaviour because it's not women's fault that men behave like morons and pigs. You stupid slut. Now, Sarah found herself in a pretty nasty public stash this week with Liberal Democrat Senator David Lionhelm after the two exchanged words during a motion to legalise non lethal self defence weapons for women. Earlier today, during the motion relating to violence against women, Senator Lane held yelled an offensive and sexist slur at me across the chamber. After the vote on the motion was complete, I walked over to the senator and confronted him directly. I asked whether I had heard him correctly. He confirmed that he had yelled, you should stop shagging men, Sarah. Shocked, I told him that he was a creep. His reply was to tell me to f dot 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 off. It was in a, a motion to consider self-defence um, there was a, a motion calling on the government to make it uh, possible for women to protect themselves. Green Senator Janet Rice was, uh, was uh, making a one-minute statement, which suggesting that it's all men, uh, that men need to change their behaviour and so forth. Sarah called out, um, I don't know the exact words because there was a lot of chatter going on, but it was, was to the effect of uh, men should stop raping women. Uh, the implication being all men are, are rapists. So uh, I just said, well, stop shagging men then, Sarah. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. If you think they're all rapists, why would you shag them? So uh, she took great offence at that, which is her problem, not my problem. And in retrospect, she has a right to shag as many men as she likes. I don't care, you know. But uh, she took great offence. She came and called me a creep. I told her to, am I allowed to say the F word on TV? But... Prefer not Sunday morning. No. We've got a religious audience, as I Ross told... was explaining earlier. I we just... get the gist of what you replied. I told her to make love You're... in another place. OK. And, uh, right. and so she loves to complain. Why is it that you, when you have a disagreement with women, you show them so little respect? You described the Network 10 journalist Angela Bishop as a bigoted B-I-T-C-H. Mm -hmm. uh, you once wrote back to an elderly constituent telling her to go away and stop proving you are a bimbo. What's your problem with women? Um, I, th I think you're mischaracterising it uh, as, uh, as sexist abuse when it's just abuse. Um, I, uh, I am um, an Australian. I will tell people they're bastards or bitches or to F off irrespective of their gender. If, uh, if I think they should shut up, I'll tell them to shut up. Um, is this a normal Australian behaviour? Talking about ordinary Australians, if I or any other male in a normal workplace talked about their colleagues, female or otherwise, in this way, they'd lose their jobs. Why shouldn't you? Because he's a senator, you fucking dunce. And the Australian public doesn't vote for faggots on radio stations. Well, look, you have your opportunity. Instead of voting for me again at the next election, um, you'll vote for somebody else. Probably Sarah, I would imagine. He claims you effectively said all men are rapists. Is that what you said? Mm, which... No, that's a lie. So where do you think he's drawn this suggestion from that you said all men are rapists? Mm. I don't know. In an unrecorded exchange on the Senate floor, Senator Lionhelm reacted to a comment by Senator Hanson Young, only heard by fellow Senator Darren Hinch, who tweeted, she said something like, women wouldn't need pepper spray if men weren't rapists. Now, as you'd expect, Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull put his two cents in on the situation as well. That type of language has no place uh, in Parliament. The uh, manager of opposition business will resume his seat. <laughs> You're such a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> David Lionhelm's uh, offensive remarks should have been withdrawn 
the moment they were uttered, and he should have apologised. I'd like to see uh, Malcolm stop being such a pussy. <laughs> I've put up with this for far too long. Hi, I'm Sarah Hanson Young. And I've decided um, I'm not going to anymore. Buy a dildo and go f yourself. <laughs> I'm standing up, I'm speaking out, and I'm not going to be um, smeared and put up with sexist slurs. Oi, you stupid f slut. It is just not okay. You are sucking people smugglers' balls. Uh, to uh, be so disrespectful uh, to women. Men cannot control themselves and deal with their own issues. It is not women's fault that men behave like morons and like pigs. Be so disrespectful. Uh, to women. Men behave like morons and like pigs. He thinks I'm sexually promiscuous. Needs a good route, I say. My mate Morally Gray is going to have a much more detailed video about this up over the next few days. I just thought I'd get a quick lol reel out. See ya.